Good day. Welcome back to another episode on Pi Tips and Tricks, where we deal with the Raspbian OS on the Raspberry Pi. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Today, we're going to look at uh, our browser. So I have Chromium web browser here, but the thing is, is not every web browser is treated equally. And when I say that, I mean that in a good sense. Um, but I use Chromium a lot on my Raspberry Pis, but sometimes certain websites really do not like it. Now, Chromium to me uh, runs fairly well on the Raspberry Pi. I've had no issues with it, but sometimes I need to access a website that, um, you know, and I have to use an alternative browser. Uh, so what I use there is I use uh, Firefox uh, ESR. So to install that, all we're going to do is open up our terminal window, and we're just going to go sudo apt get install Firefox, and this is where we're going to hit the tab button, right? Because if there's any other versions or anything out there, we want to um, make sure we get the right package. So, and then I'm just going to hit enter. And that's going to go ahead and it's going to install uh, Firefox ESR and any uh, other packages that it might need. Um, and then, yeah, and once that's done, we can launch that and we can go to a lot of the sites that might not work on Chromium. We're just going to wait for that. And I'm going to show you two more things. One thing in Chromium and then one thing on uh, Firefox here. So now we have Firefox ESR installed here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now it does run a little bit slower than, you know, a lot of browsers. So I only use it when absolutely needed. And I prefer to only run it on my 8 gigabyte Raspberry Pi, not on my 2 gigabyte one that we're on here. So if I open the menu here and I scroll all the way down to help, we can go to about Firefox. This is where we're going to actually look to see what version we're running and um, basically make sure that we are up to date. And this is going to be the same thing on Chromium. When you open it up here and you go to here and you go to about Chromium, it's going to check your version here. Uh, there is one other thing. Uh, if we go to advanced in Chromium, we should be able to go to system. There's a couple options here that I wanted to point out. Uh, if you're having problems with any websites loading or anything, turn the hardware acceleration off and see if that definitely helps. Um, and then continue running background apps when Chromium is closed. So if you've installed like apps like Zoom or Spotify or anything like that, you, you, you might want it to run when or turn off when Chromium is closed. Uh, so if it's pretty heavy on your browser, you might want to kill that just so your idle isn't as high as it should be. Okay, so this one doesn't have it in it. So I'm just going to go over to Firefox one more time here. And we're going to go to settings here or preferences. And if we scroll down here. So this here um, is what you're going to want to turn off if you're having issues with Firefox as well. Um, and to me, you can definitely change a lot of settings within your browser to make it work a lot better. So extensions and themes. Uh, if you go to your plugins here, you can go and see what's all running. You can even install a bunch of different ones as well. Uh, there is so many different options when it comes to plugins and extensions. Um, and then the same goes for Chromium here. Um, you do have the up top here, the web store, or I should say it's used. I usually have another, my other bar down here, my bookmarks bar. And then from in here, basically you can install anything in here onto your browser. So you want to 
put zoom on you put the zoom scheduler in uh there is a bunch of stuff that i don't use but hey you might i do believe google hangouts works um i know honey works um yeah there's just a bunch of stuff in here that you can do and play around with to make your browser work better for you so if you're having issues definitely check out your settings and look at different things you can do and that's even the appearance you know you can use uh different settings here change your default browser i don't know anyone that would choose yahoo but or bing but you know it's there if you want it um set your download locations yeah so there's definitely a lot you can do here so i know uh, a couple of sites will hang uh, when using Chromium. So then I just pop over to Firefox and they load no problem. So sometimes we do have to have a couple different browsers. Now I know there's a lot of browsers out there, but these are the two big guns in my books uh, for the Raspberry Pi that I trust to use that I've been using for, you know, quite a few years now on here. So with that being said, that's going to do it for me. So whether you choose Firefox or Chromium or both, uh, you can definitely play around with them both to get yourself more safe, secure, and enjoying the internet on your Raspberry Pi. And really, who doesn't want to on a, a low wattage system be able to do everything uh, a really high powered computer can do? And if all you're doing is surfing the web, watching YouTube videos, that kind of a thing, why waste the power on that when you can watch even more videos and tutorials on a Raspberry Pi at a lower cost? So if you have any questions or comments or any tips and tricks that you'd like to see featured on here, post in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, we have more tips and tricks coming soon. So thank you for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?